Welcome back to the show, everybody. What a difference a day makes. We got a lot to talk about today, for, and not least of which is this market that is currently falling like a manhole cover from the sky, off by more than 10% this morning. We're going to talk about it in Russia, Ukraine. We're also going to talk about this. Elon Musk is building a case against the SEC. How about Elwood Technologies? Ever heard of it? How about $17 trillion? You're going to remember it after today. Microsoft and Ripple, did you forget? Well, we got the reminder for you. EU banning Bitcoin and other proof-of-work coins? Uh Uh-oh. And the SEC versus Ripple case is unraveling for the SEC, ladies and gentlemen. We got that and so much more. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at Backup Bradley Above and everything that we're talking about here today. $1.577 trillion market cap, ladies and gentlemen. 10.44% off this morning for the entire crypto market cap. Whoa. You have to say a lot of that is probably due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict going on right now. And I really long for the day that the conqueror is gone. Any, whoever it is. You know what I mean? You know, give peace a chance. Bitcoin, 35,300 plus this morning, off by 18 plus percent. Nine of that in the last 24 hours. Ethereum right now, $2,300 plus. And we see 22 off on the seven day and 12.6 on that in the 24 hour time frame. Right now, XRP is 63 cents off by 22.2% on the seven day and 13 of that in the last 24 hours. You can see what's happening in the news around the world affecting everything, including crypto. 62 cents on the bottom, 74 cents on the top. You can see we're ranging downward. It will continue as as it looks. We'll keep an eye on it. 18.9 million plus XRP transferred from Biden Finance to an unknown wallet, what could it mean and who could it be now? Yeah, shout out to Men at Work. You know what I mean? For those of you old enough to know what that reference is. Now take a look at this reference. You guys know I am into blue chip art. For the first time in my life, I'm excited about it. I've been a, a bit of a backyard art buff my whole life. And I tell you, for the first time, I can invest just like the wealthiest people in fine art. Look at this, outpacing the S&P, baby, 13.6 art annual appreciation for contemporary art versus the S&P 9.5%. And look at what just recently happened here. They just sold an Albert Olin doppel build for 2.7 million, resulting in a 33.8% net of all cost and fees how about that one shout out to masterworks i wish i got a hold of that one but look you can buy in for 20 bucks a swing that's the thing for the first time ever we're allowed to participate in what the wealthiest people of the world have been doing for so so long link in the description and comment box Elon Musk states he's building a case against the SEC. Oh, I like this from ProCoin News right here. It says here the CEO, arguably well-known billionaire, uh, has made statements that has lit up social media, as we all know. He said here in this... uh, Dr. Jack responds, what if Elon uh, has been baiting the SEC for years, building their case on the level of corruption? Now they have enough evidence to go public with it all. Grab your popcorn. Elon Musk responds, building a case is exactly what I've been doing. That is remarkable. He said, and then it goes down here. I didn't start the fight, but I will finish it. Stay tuned for that. And they're not the only ones building a case. We're going to talk about the Ripple SEC case and the most recent motion that has come in from Judge Torres before we get out of here. And it is fantastic for Ripple. All right, look at this. Uphold's got great things going on. You can get them on link2.com. But look at what's happened for them. And Ripple, too, by the way. And there's not much of it left on Link2. You better get it before all of this stuff is gone and both of these companies and others find a public exit. 
Let me tell you what. Uphold becomes registered as a crypto asset firm in the UK post the FCA Financial Conduct Authority approval. It says here, according to the FCA website, Uphold's UK subsidiary, Uphold Europe, limited gain regulatory approval on Thursday. Shout out to them. Congratulations to JP and the entire crew over there and the new CEO. Joining the select list of 32 firms that have received the FCA approval as registered crypto asset service providers out of the 200 that had applied, the approval signifies that the firm is in compliance with the UK anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing regulations. I love hearing this. This is fantastic stuff. I do love using Uphold. I'm not going to lie to you. You guys know that. But look. Let's take a look at this because we got so, so much more news. If you think because this market is down right now that crypto isn't coming back, take a look at this number. Michael Val Five Links Hall of Famer says, did they say 17 trillion? Michael, yes, they did. <laughs> L Wood Technologies, we're getting the band back together and crypto's in it. Yeah, crypto-focused technology firm owned by hedge fund heavyweight Alan Howard announced a strategic integration with Bloomberg, ladies and gentlemen. According to the details shared with the block, the integration is geared towards institutional clients who use the Bloomberg Asset Management Investment Manager, or AIM as it's known, a buy-side order management system used by about 15,000 clients who collectively manage more than $17 trillion in assets. Uh, can you say crypto come on in? Yeah, because I can say it. Yeah, can you say crypto boom? Because $17 trillion going to make a boom up in this space. Take a look at this. In the event of harsh Western sanctions, Russian forces invade Ukraine. Retail customers could be at risk to lose their savings. Russian savings could be confiscated in response to sanctions against the country. That is a terrible, terrible situation right there, and I hope it is resolved as quickly and as peacefully as it is not now. Looking right here, Trudeau revokes the emergency act powers, but the case for crypto grows. Let me tell you, I think he did this because he realized how how much it was not going his way. And look, uh, be scared. Be very scared because they can do the same thing in almost any country and including the good old U.S. of A. MUFG, we covered this yesterday, drops the blockchain project to focus on stable coins. I just want to give you the follow up here is that they are going to, in fact, pursue stable coins, but they will continue to work with Akamai, or Akamai uh, Technologies, which is located in the United States in Boston. I think it was Cambridge. Massachusetts. That's where it was. Yeah. The company also stated is going to continue discussing that while they work on going towards stable coins. It's managing, and, and as previously reported, MUFG has been, also been working for years on a platform managing security tokens. Well, I thought that was interesting, right? Because they said they're aiming towards a platform for the issuance of management of stable coins and then obviously managing security tokens. With the recent news we've covered in the European Central Bank, with the Arab Central Bank, and the recent vote for unanimously shortening the settlement time of the securities market from the U.S. SEC, Gary Gensler and the crew, just two weeks ago. Things that make you go, hmm. Here's another thing that makes you go, hmm. Remember when Microsoft adds Ripple to its blockchain initiative? If you've not been in this space a while, you may not know it at all. But I went and pulled this. Thank you to Nathan Price for this one. Microsoft explores adding Ripple Tech to its blockchain toolkit in 2015. That's how long this has been going on. Yeah. Microsoft to issue an update to its blockchain toolkit offering or offering and revealing it's exploring how to add Ripple's Interledger protocol, which is going to make it interoperable with anything. Yeah, how about that one? EU members reportedly plan for AML watchdog oversee crypto firms by 2024. Take a look at this, because this is going to turn dark on crypto proof of work in just about 
20 seconds. <laughs> okay, yeah. This here says that a group of European Union members, nations led by Germany, including the Netherlands, Spain, and other countries here, uh, plan to include crypto firms under purview of anti-money laundering focus group, purportedly the European Commission's anti-money laundering authority, which was first proposed in July 21. The group will reportedly begin operating in 24 and fully functional by 2026. But take a look at this. I wanted to remind everybody that in this article, way back in the day, Ethan Beard, because they're going to use chain analysis, by the way, to get all of this done. Okay, if you come down here to the bottom of the page, they will show you right here. A chain analysis report showed that individuals are laundering 8.6 billion worth of cryptocurrency in 2021 alone. If you think they can't track cryptocurrency you better think again and it reminded me when i saw that of the 2019 when ethan beard was at ripple still and down here at the bottom furthermore chain analysis is adding the xrp ledger to its blockchain analytics product <laughs> if it's a decentralized exchange to the world which the xrp ledger is at some point, if we believe all the money will plug into the decentralized ledger for the world, it looks like Chainalysis is going to be scanning the transactions for all the money. Pretty simple math on that one. This just in, da -da 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 -da. if you're holding Bitcoin, if you're holding anything that's proof of work, which by the way, Ethereum still is, wink, wink. Remember when Chris Larson said, hey, Bitcoin, I really think you ought to move off of proof of work to proof of stake. It's a tough job, but you really need to do it. Remember when he said that? Well, take a look at here. According to a published German cryptocurrency media outlet, the European Parliament, one of the legislative branches of the European Union, what does it say here? Has moved to ban Bitcoin and other proof of work cryptocurrencies. <gasps> Say it isn't so, the sky is falling. Haven't we talked about this? We talked about this, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel. If, if the government wants to around the world, they can say, if we catch you merchants using and taking Bitcoin, all this legal tender talk in El Salvador, a bill introduced in Arizona to make Bitcoin legal tender. Yeah. How you think it looks now? I know we're talking about the European Union, but do you think that's not going to follow suit? We'll see what happens here. But I can tell you one thing. When you start to challenge the other dollars of the world, this is the mountain you're looking to climb. That's why I like XRP. It's a bridge. It's a complement to the government fiat dollars of the world, not a threat. There you go. So now, look, here's the deal. <laughs> you know, listen to what's going on here. This means Bitcoin could become illegal within the European Union starting in January 1st, 2025. Businesses would prohibit from offering any services associated with proof-of-work cryptocurrencies. This is exactly what we talked about. If you use it for a dinner or a haircut or to buy a pair of shoes, right? Or any other thing with a merchant, they could go say to the merchant, if we catch you doing it, we're going to fine you X amount of dollars or so many days or months or years in jail. Don't believe it. It can still be true. Bank of New York Mellon, world largest custodian, has partnered with guess who? Guess who gets it for the win again? That's right, chain analysis. <laughs> yeah, don't forget they're going to be using that decentralized ledger, XRP ledger too, for its analytics, right? <laughs> Their entire regulatory project could be basically shut down if they lose on the merits here, said Joseph Hall, who believes all of us Twitter sleuths out here are really like some wacky bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, how wacky is this, Joe? Judge just stuffed the SEC on their most recent motion. Denied. Yeah. He tries to go to the basket. The SEC got put down is what happened here. Like old Yeller behind the shed. Yes, what happened here? One word denied on the recent response to the submission of their sir, sir reply. 
because apparently, I'm not a lawyer, but apparently to every lawyer who's looked at it, it is almost laughable if it hasn't been so expensive and damaging because of this case, because they submitted the library case, which had no reference at all to the fair notice defense, which had not been struck down in that case as a reference. You know, this case I said yesterday has become just a giant legal dumpster fire, right? It, and, and I mean, at some point, if this continues the momentum to build and build for Ripple, you have to wonder if the SEC will be forced to drop this case. Because if they allow this to go and lose, unless, why would you intentionally lose? But if you lose this case, the implications to what Gary Gensler wants for the SEC to have real control over this entire space almost, then it seems to me you could be staring down the possibility of this case getting dropped so they don't have that happen. And then maybe they pursue someone else in order to try to achieve what they're trying to with the jurisdictional power grab. I don't know, but this is where we are on this day, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for me. Hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Share with somebody you know. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. There is a lot happening. Head on a swivel out here. It's crypto. You never know. I'll catch all of you on the next one.